one. So, hmm. so this is a good. What's the make of it? It's Pilot Japanese. Oh, pilot, yeah. But I mean, it's really cheap. So you can buy ten of them if you want. <laughs> well, let's let's talk about the new movie. Yep. Uh, how did the how did you come to the project? What was the context? What what was going on when you approached? Actually, you have a really nice pen. I like it because I don't have to put a lot of pressure when I. This is actually one of my absolute favorites. Yeah. Well, okay. Sorry, I thought it was a lead pen. No, okay. It's well, it's it's one, a yeah. Caran Dash. Yeah, it's really nice Thank actually. You. Well, I don't really know how I started making the film. I just make the things I make, and I don't really know where it starts. It starts somewhere and turns into something. Hmm. So I don't really know how it's. It started. seemed like you took a little bit of a break between your your previous feature and this one. Well, not a break really, but I do different things. You had two books in that time. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna continue to make different things. Mm. I'm not just doing films and then, so. I, had no, I have no career plan, no goals really, except to stay in Sweden because I love Sweden. That's the only goal I have really. Mm. Are you gonna return to poetry at any point? Um, always. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was. I don't think the, the previous two books have been translated yet. But is there plans for that? No, I don't think no. so. That's a shame. Yeah. Well, it'll happen when I die or something. <laughs> well, that's fine with me. We'll see. How how was the production of this film? It seems like it it has a lighter touch maybe than the mammoth. I can imagine that the productions were probably also very different. Very different. Yes. This was a really nice. The whole shooting this film was really nice. It was just a lot of fun, and I think actually that's to try to answer your first question is probably that I wanted to make something that was probably one of the reasons why I wanted to make the film was I wanted to make something that the the project itself the process would be fun mm. and sort of simple or something and smaller, and it was actually it was a really good time. We had a lot of fun making it, and we had a really good team, and everyone was, I think, enjoying themselves. Mm. Do you have a personal relationship to the subject matter? Yes, of course. So, what was your upbringing like? How, how did you come to punk music? Well, I grew up, I, I'm the same age as the girls in the film, so I was also, I was 13 years old in 1982, and I was, uh, I've always been very interested in music, even from when I was five or something. Mm, my mother married uh, or met a new man who listened a lot to music, so I sort of, I, I really, I was really into music when I was five, yeah. and then it just progressed into. And then, and then punk came. But we were a little bit late for just like the girls in the film. We were a little bit too late because the punk thing happened really, it sort of like died out in 82 or 81 or 80 mm. or something and I, so it, it felt a little bit like you were sort of late for something mm. but still I think it was an important thing for me and I think that I, in many ways I'm still there in that place where I live, just some details changed but you stay very much the same mm. in many ways. And I think I've, there was some feeling that you could do anything. And I think I still have that feeling. And I think I have still have the feeling that you don't necessarily have to do things very well. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to do them. <laughs> and you just sort of have to keep working and trying different things. And the result is not necessarily the most important thing. The most important thing is just to sort of let things out of yourself and yeah. bang the drums really hard. <laughs> And it was uh, an adaptation of your wife's graphic novel. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you approach the, the uh, adaptation process of taking a graphic novel and turning it into a film? It was really simple. and uh, I, I just asked her if, she, if it was okay with her, and then she said it was fine. And then I just turned it into... I, I, I changed quite a lot, especially in the story, but I sort of tried to stay very close to the atmosphere and the tone mm -hmm. of, the, of, of the book. 
and especially since the book is about uh, Coco's childhood, so it's sort of 80% autobiographical. So that was, of course, also because I didn't know her in those days. We grew up in different cities and we, and we, we met much later. So that was really fun to sort of fantasize about what she was like when she was 13 years old or 12, mm. something. Um, so I think I wrote the script quite fast and I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's wrong, but it feels like everything went just really smooth and fast and everything. It's probably wrong, you know, memory tricks. <laughs> I don't know. There, you mentioned the tone, which is I think pretty palpable in the in the film. Yeah. And I'm wondering how you delivered that tone stylistically. I mean, actually, when I when I I just realized that actually the book is actually a little bit sadder. Mm. It's more about sort of like being alone and sort of your mother is away at, at the party and you're sort of. <laughs> But I still feel like we, I sort of captured the tone of the friendship and things like mm -hmm. that. And then I maybe I added a little bit lighter touch, or not, not lighter, but sort of more of hope and happiness or something. Mm -hmm. Because I just felt like that what was needed in the world today is not more sadness, but more happiness, actually. And I also just felt that there were some things that happened in sort of in my life or around me that where I felt that I, c I cannot really, I was in sad things and then I just felt that I had to sort of balance that with some good things. Mm. Yeah, the optimism of it is, is not usually associated with punk uh, stories from that time. I was thinking, it reminded me of seeing this Swedish film from, I think, 1980 called Children's Island. Um, okay, yeah, 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 well, that's a nice film. But it's very, it's much darker, like... Yeah, yeah, but it's, yeah. Well, I watched that film, actually, when we, we talked about that film when we were doing this one. Uh, in many different ways, because I think that, especially since I'm, I'm a little bit nationalistic, so I think that Sweden has a very, I am sort of feel that I'm part of a very strong tradition in Sweden, where we sort of make films and TV series and things about children and mm. f also for children, which is, so we, I watched a lot of things like that movie, mm. for example. But yeah, it's, that, that, that movie is darker, but uh, I want to do things, my ideal at the moment, I'm changing the whole time, but my ideal at the moment is to make something that really takes things really seriously, but treats it with some kind of optimism, which is not the same thing as positive. You don't have to talk about it in a positive way. You can say that everything is terrible, mm. but it will get better. Mm. I thought that's sort of some kind of ideal for me at the moment. Tomorrow I will have another idea <laughs> today. Mm. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Yeah.